Boom! Oh, fuck me in the dick! Cool. <laughs> this game is fucking ridiculous. Thank you, Soul Frozen, for the lurk. Oh my fuck! Holy shit! do i feel like it's gonna update in a day or two that's weird yeah try i'd say try again after um yeah it's probably like tomorrow morning check again that's really the strange mail, the mail comes every day. i look out the window waiting for the oh, 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 I love no. these new people let's go ahead and get to know <laughs> oh. holy shit i think it's an actually attack Here. I'll take these though. Excuse you? I already unlocked that. I don't think these open. Nope, okay. Uh, maybe there's a bag in here. <laughs> Alright. Got him. I know I'm supposed to be stealthy, I but I didn't know how it was going to work out. Oh, damn, I fucked that boy up. Holy shit. Warehouse key acquired. It'd be cool if I could pick up fucking ammo. Come over here? Like, come over here, do your talk, turn away, I'll jump out, press all the buttons really quick. Do my cranky cranky. <laughs> I know that that Okay. Um so Deadly Knight. Torture Star game. Um We have played a few in the past. I'm looking forward to playing this one. This game contains nudity scenes. Do you want to censor this type of content? Um we're gonna say yes. How about that? <laughs> the motel, the house, Susan, and 911 call. Fucking sh are you serious? That's huge. Fucking shitty fuck cock. Oh my god, that that was not okay. That hurt. All right, come on, it's boiling. I can fucking hear it. No fry. It's not hot cocoa. Oh fuck, that was me. Oh. Fuck. I keep ending up in the fucking cave. <laughs> For a second, I thought he went around. I thought he was going around to get on top of the hill. I couldn't get up on it. So I was like, I'll turn around enjoy that one from puppet combo that much because your inventory space is so minimal and on top of that like like here's the red paper like there's so many different places that you have to find but you have to unlock things you have to do puzzles to get the other keys and like the second <laughs> What the fuck? That was a headshot! Bro! That was a fucking headshot. Alright. I picked another album because this album's about to end. I'm gonna need another minute or two. Holy fuck. Douse that shit with water. I'm breathing. Whew. 
seven hundred and eleven followers. Yo, uh, hey, don't do that. That's not good for you. Hit it. Come on, that's not good for you. Grandma, grandma. Okay. Oh, fuck. Leave me alone. Oh no. Ooh, gotcha, bitch. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was... And hell room key. What's the red gem for? Looks like it's stuck somewhere. What do you mean it's stuck somewhere? We have to put it somewhere? Jesus. And then this is the key over to the bad. hell room, I'm which I'm going right now. Girl. You have a lovely day. See ya. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> Fuck! God damn it! Run! Run, you fucking idiot! Get me the fuck out of there. She wants her <laughs> God. Uh, Alright, let's continue. I didn't go get jump scared now. I hope you're ready. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't even that scary. Some nun in the corner just shaking. Like a tree in the breeze. Well, okay. Lots of blood, though. That's cool. Ooh! Didn't see her there. Fuck. Okay. Hello? Oh my god! Fuck. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well on this uh, Wednesday. Weird that we're here on a Wednesday. Um, so funny enough, I had moved stream on Saturday night this week to tonight. Because uh, I'm going to a Red Sox game on Saturday. But there's two problems with this now. Number one... It may be a complete washout. It's supposed to rain over the weekend. And number two, it's actually a day game. It's 1 p.m. Eastern, which is nine hours before a typical start time on a Saturday stream. Um, so it's going to be interesting what happens. Uh, why do you do this to me? Uh, thank you, Alien, for the keyboard, cat. Sit the fuck up. I don't... I'm going right down the list. All right. Make sure you stretch out those cream of hamstrings. Oh. Ah! I do gotta stretch out. Actually, it's it's rough. I started working out again this week for the first time in like, fuck, probably six, seven months. Oh. Not good. <laughs> sometimes you gotta just jam. That's true. And sometimes you just gotta jelly. <laughs> oh my fuck. Oh. Appreciate the stretch. Uh, where was I? Oh. So. Uh, Saturday, depending on when I get home, whether that's, it's, it's supposed to be for my birthday coming up next week. I'm going out with my mom, actually. Um, so even if we don't go to the Red Sox game, we're probably going to hang out and like have lunch, have some drinks, chill out. Um, but I also had my heart kind of set on going to a show on Sunday night. I haven't bought a ticket yet and I really fucking should. 
Um, and then I went and booked the Starship Troopers watch party night on Sunday, and I was like, fuck. But now that this is opened, I'm thinking, why don't we move the watch party a day up to Saturday instead? Uh, that way, we could still all watch the movie, hang out together a nice Saturday night. Don't worry about work in the morning. I mean, I don't work in next week anyways, but that's that's besides the point. Oh, thank you, Mo. Hello there. Thank you, Alien. Hello, Fry. Welcome in, my friend. Um, so the way I see it, tonight is still making up for a missed Saturday stream, but we'll just be in Discord. And then Sunday, we don't usually stream anyways, so it's, it's fine. It kind of washes out nicely, and I get to go catch a death metal band I really want to see. So it's a win-win. Um, and then uh, first announcement for the birthday week uh, next week. Monday, June 5th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, we're going to bring back the community stream night, and we're doing Jackbox Party again because uh, we had so much fun playing those the last time. So we'll be, uh, we'll be playing those games on Monday, again, June 5th. And then the rest of the week, I'll actually be announcing tomorrow. Um, some really, really cool stuff that I've been working on this week. Um, and I'm trying to finalize some things. Maybe later tonight if I have a fit of insomnia. Um, probably not, though. So more than likely tomorrow I'll wrap some stuff up. And uh we'll be good to go and i'll be able to tell you what we're gonna be doing next week uh after the i mean the community night's cool enough don't get me wrong but then what comes after that i'm i'm pretty excited for to see how it goes um ooh, let's crack the beer cheers <laughs> yeah alien i i think it was more than a couple days i think it'll be by a couple weeks I feel like I was just over that month mark, and you were, like, at the end of the month mark. Fucking love this band. Sorry if all of you are like, why is this so slow? <laughs> just a big fan of doom metal, sludge metal. It may have been. Yeah, but still, fair enough point. Um... I think what else we got going? What got going, 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 going? Uh, <clears throat> oh, I still have to work on Jugtober stuff. Um, I like to have a good draft of what my plans are, usually by my birthday. So I'm going to be working on that probably a bit this weekend when I have some time. Um, and I really want to have some things lined up, ready to go. Obviously, we're still going to be doing no. Uh, we're still going to be doing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, hope for the day, charity fundraising the whole month. It's the whole purpose. Um, and, uh, I, I I'm going to try to do a better job of being able to handle everything because, um, something I had to do last year was all, I'd add up all the bits from that particular stream and I would deposit that. Like I would, um, Um, but like, I'm, I'm almost positive that kind of bit me in the ass come tax season a bit. So I think what we may end up doing this Jugtober is we're going to just have like the Tiltify, uh, like extension again, like what we've used in the past. And I think we're going to just kind of make it through there. That way it's your, anyone that wants to, um, Sure. But yeah, it would just be um, a better handling where I'm not, like, being a middleman at all. Um, and then maybe at, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's more to think about. Make sure I do it right. Have I played Metal Health Singer? I played it on one stream but right before Jugtober last year, so it was like the end of September. Um, it was pretty fun. 
it's like a Doom game, but the music beats on kills. Yes, yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to swing it to the beat like your sword and or use the weapons and stuff. Yeah, I was I I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. <laughs> um, and uh, I also got a key through rank one, which is not typical. Uh, I've never got one randomly from them before. I never asked for one before. I just got one. The only thing is that it's for killer frequency, but when I got the, when I, when I redeemed the key, it said it was for beta testing purposes. And I'm like, well, that's strange because the game drops tomorrow. So like, I'm just kind of confused. So I'm going to install it tomorrow and take a look around. Um, but yeah, I gotta look into that a bit deeper because I want to make sure if I, if I actually had a copy of like the legitimate game, like let's fucking go, but I'm not sure I did because it's already sitting in my library. I can install it right now. So it's probably a beta version. Whether or not that transfers over to a real legitimate version or not, I don't know. Um, but I don't know. I mean, getting beta keys on the last day of beta isn't that cool. <laughs> And I didn't ask for it either, and I'm and I'm, I'm super appreciative, obviously. Uh, but yeah, every once in a while, I'll get keys. Um, I think the uh, the key I was most excited to get was probably um, um, the Starship Troopers. I didn't expect to get that one. And some stream yesterday and say didn't get to watch it, but I'm glad it's on your radar at a minimum. Yeah, oh, it, well, it sounds awesome. Um, it reminds me of a horror movie I watched before. It's a uh, like a zombie apocalypse movie, and it the movie takes place instead of a radio station, and it's the radio DJ basically taking phone calls from people reporting what's going on, um, and like the zombies taking over and everything. And they're learning how to fight back and stuff. And but you don't see anything outside. It's everything is inside the radio station. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's like the. I mean, it's it's similar. It's not zombie oriented. I think it's uh, a serial killer that's involved, if I recall. Um, but it's it's very much like being like the the radio DJ and like handling a, a really stressful situation. So yeah, that's been on my list for a while, and to just wake up this morning and see an email from rank one being like, Hey, we have this key for you. I was like, Oh shit. Okay, cool. I'm like, that's coming out tomorrow. Cause SAS is streaming it tonight. Blah, blah, blah. It's not super familiar. What's it called? Uh, the zombie movie. Um, fuck. Uh, when I hear zombies, it reminds me of Zomboid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me, um, zombie movie in radio station. Once I see the title, I'm going to be like, that's it. Yep, there it is. Pontypool. Came out in 2008. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put the IMDB right in here. That's the one? Haha. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. Um... Yeah, radio host interprets the possible outbreak of a deadly virus which infects the small Ontario town he is stationed in. Yeah, it was uh Pony Pool. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Nice, yeah. I uh I was dating a girl for a while back in like my later half of my university career. Um and she used to work at a blockbuster video back when those things were around. And uh she'd always rent like every random horror movie that came in the door. Um, and we would, we'd like watch a bunch of them over a weekend or whatever. And, uh, Pawnee Pool was one of them. And I was like, that was actually really fucking good. I enjoyed that. He's a real deadhead for the Zombos. Still have a soft spot for Shaun of the Dead, but nowadays I prefer a body horror. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's, uh, too much of anything seems to be like, uh, like there's a lot of zombie stuff. There's a lot of gore porns. Um... So it's it's nice when you get something fresh, uh, especially if the I like the concept of the movie is new. So, uh, yeah. So that's that's cool. I'm I'm glad someone knew the reference to that. <laughs> so, killer frequency. Um, and I'll double check Steam too. Why not? Right. Uh, store page. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
It says here, Killer Frequency is a first-person horror adventure that puts you in the shores in the shoes, sorry, of Forrest Nash, a late-night radio host whose callers are being stalked by a mysterious killer. Solve puzzles, save lives, and run the switchboards, all while listening to a jukebox of retro 80s tunes. Oh, see, but that's that bothers me. Because if it's all 80s, like, if it's just real 80s songs, like, that's uh, going to get marked up all over the place. But, I mean, if it's, like, 80s styled stuff, I guess that's good to go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, uh, yeah, it looks it looks interesting, at least. Gorepore was my shift raw, but after I started getting kind of bored by sheer volume of blood, French, extre uh, French extremism took over for me. Like, I feel gross after horror flick. <laughs> the game's called Killer Frequency. And yeah, Mo, when I think about the French horror films I've seen, the two that jump out immediately, is Inside and Martyrs. And Martyrs was fucking uncomfortable from the beginning of that movie until the very end. Inside and Martyrs. Yeah, <laughs> I think mean, you know those two. <laughs> And then um, there's there's an American remake or whatever of Inside. I've heard it was it wasn't bad, but I mean I'm obviously partial to the OG. Mark's my favorite horror flick of all time. It's de yeah, it really is devastating. That ending is just oof. The remakes are oh yeah, that's right. They remade Martyrs. I forgot. I don't know why. Uh, it's stupid. That's like they 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 took um was it Nor the Norwegian movie uh, Let the Right One In, the one about the child vampire, um. And they just called it Let Me In, and it's like the reboot. Like, I watched it because it was on TV one day, and it's comparable, but it just felt like... It didn't have the same, like, dark dreariness of, like, deep winter in, in you know, Scandinavia, so to speak. Holy shit, it just came out. People already beat it. Uh, it well, it comes out tomorrow, but there are some people that probably got it early. Um, like I got the key today, but it's it said it was for beta testing, the actual redeemed uh, message in uh, in Steam. Got to recognize everything. Oh my god, yes, that was so good. Let the right one in was so beautiful. Yeah, it was. That was a fun ending too that you had to just cheer for, even though it's like fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, now speaking of good stories, um. We finished up last time with uh, The Last of Us, part one. But there's still a DLC to play, um, which I've heard, because I haven't seen the show yet. I had never played this game or saw the show, so it's all fresh to me. Um, I'm going to be playing the DLC because the first episode of, the, of this season that dropped uh, for The Last of Us is apparently the DLC, essentially. Or the first half of it is or something. So, I gotta get in on that. <clears throat> There's some videos of a guy beating it three years ago, but then people are playing it eight hours ago and shit. Well, I mean, three years ago is probably a demo. Um, so, you'll find that um, a lot, Alien, where there's a demo comes out or a beta version or something comes out. And then, years down the road, there's a massive update and it becomes like a full release, so to speak. Um... Uh, the Baby in Yellow is very similar. A lot of people played the beta version of that game, as did I. And I saw a lot of people playing it recently, and it turns out they put out a full release of the game. They did a huge update for it. You remember watching this? Oh, cool. Um, so, yeah. I think it's going to run us about two and a half to three hours to beat this DLC, depending on how I'm feeling at the end of it, because we have the late start time tonight. Um... It's, uh, we'll see if we get to Demonologist. I'd like to, because I really want to play this new map. Uh, that update dropped, like, God, almost three weeks ago. And I literally offline just went in and got to level, I think it was 15 I had to get to. Uh, maybe even, no, it was level 20? I don't know, it was up there. I had to get to a higher level, so I just absolutely grinded that out so it'd be ready to go. And we've yet to find a moment, but... For good reasons. We've been playing a lot of good stuff recently. It's a really fun game. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna check I'm gonna check it out tomorrow and see if um if it's just a beta release or if it like transcribes over to the full release. I honestly don't know. Um but yeah. I am ready to hop on over to play some Last of Us. Join me. Oh, 
On Alistair, I was hit level 18. Ooh, very nice. I'm, um... I'm level 13 currently. I mean, that, that game is too fun. Alright, so left behind. Play additional chapter set during the events of The Last of Us. Okay. Provides balance experience. Resources are limited. Less challenging than moderate. Resources are more common. Enemies are less dangerous. Yeah, we'll just... I think we did moderate before, so we'll stick with moderate. Alex Charles looks like a blast. It is... It's very fun. I'm saying I do. I'll check in later. Thank you, Fry. I'll be here. And I'm sure some other folks will be here, too. We'll see. This is pretty fun. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, no permadeath. Thank you. Camera assist. Automatically runs the camera in the direction of your movement. Nah, I'm good. And none of that. Okay. You have to moderate. Challenge level can be changed at any time in options. Difficulty. Cool. Let's play work surprisingly well. Yeah, I was playing it solo earlier today, and I... Got, so... There's like the main objective of each uh, program and then number three and four are the same thing, but just like medium and hard difficulty. Um, so I got all the mediums done. The only thing I have to do now is the last run through of each three. So I think that means I'm close to program X, I think. Maybe. <clears throat> what? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. Who the fuck are these guys? Oh yeah, these dickheads. When that happens, yep. Stay the fuck back! Joel. I haven't got to Program X yet, no. Ah, uh, so is this the time between this and then when they're in the winter? Joel! Shit! Joel! Oh, get up, get up, get up! You gotta tell me what to do! Come on! You gotta get up! Joel! Program X gives you 10 missions, every mission grants a token. Oh, so that's how it works, okay. I figured it'd be something along those lines because I, I know you have to get tokens to get out. Because uh, I went up to that guard at the desk and I was like, oh. But it's seasonal. Yeah, it does say seasonal one, I've noticed. Cool. Yeah! Riley? Ow. I landed on my hip. What the hell? I thought I was bitten. I know. It was kind of awesome. I mean, you already were, right? Oh, no. You're not going to kill me, are you? She's I not bitten yet. You. This is before. Well, I don't even know how long. Oh, this is going to be days. awful. Well, 46, technically. Want to know what I've been up to? Oh, no. Going to lurk my... Still no roommate? I had to sleep under Liz for three years, and you know how bad that girl smelled. You're a firefly. <laughs> you still have it up. What? What are you doing? I'm making sure I don't get caught with a firefly in my room. Relax. There are no soldiers on the entire floor. Here, congrats. Hey. Are we cool? Are we cool? I disappeared and you're mad. Yeah. And I owe you an explanation. Let's get out of here and I'll tell you all about it. It's almost morning and I have military drills. You know, where we learn how to kill fireflies. Put some pants on and let's go. The nerve. Look, 
come on. When have we ever gotten into trouble? Uh, well, you're about to. I know where we're going with this. Come on, give me something. Put you on your side. <clears throat> Jesus. <sighs> mm, the time jumps. Stitch you up, okay? Callus, keep an eye on him. <laughs> the horse is like, all right, fine. I'll be back in a flash. Promise. Okay. I totally got this. Sure. All right. Now where the fuck do I go? That's a good question. Let's see what we have right now. Absolutely nothing. There's no upgrades. Uh, yeah, no, I got, I got zilch. Never comes back. <laughs> no, she definitely does. Have ticket ready. Show your ID card. No, I gotta show shit. Nobody here anyways. Oh. That's interesting. Those don't open, I think. <laughs> Those definitely don't open. There's nobody here. Oh, shit. I just heard something. I could definitely fucking hear something. In that direction over there. The worst thing is I have nothing to defend myself with. I don't seem to be any items anywhere either. <clears throat> Ooh. I see some bricks. Adds BRB. Oh, thank you. Weston's Pharmacy. Oh, that sounds promising. Well, thank goodness the, uh, they didn't close this all the way. There must be so many supplies in here. What do we got here? the pills and leave the bottle god what a jackass come on of course 
Everything's picked clean. Well, I mean, yeah. How many years has it been? No, obviously someone already got in here. The gate was open. Anything? Anything? <sighs> Nothing. But there must be something somewhere. There just has to be. I'm bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. Yo, fat stuffs. With the fucking prime sub, the Bezos bucks? Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that sub. Good, we found more paperwork. Please read. Pharmacist went Pharmacist. crazy and attacked me. I hit him pretty hard. He's unconscious. I locked him in the American Princess store next door. Please get him help. Combination 353031. Oops. Yeah, that's... Uh, thank you, Fads. That's fucking cool as shit, man. Super appreciate that generosity and... Oh, come on. Fuck. And just overall the support. Appreciate you very much. Alright, so there's gonna be another way in. The wrong button. Do I have to jump down here? go from it like go underneath I'm thinking that's what I have to do but jumping from here is probably not too smart oh wait is this enough I can't jump up there anyways okay fuck it back had five ads about one drink oh it's awful I'm sorry I, you have to deal with that <clears throat> 35 right, 3 left, 31 right. That worked. Alright, don't pull it all the way up, just a little bit. Oh, fuck. You have to hold it the whole time. Alright, there you go. Jump out at me. Go ahead and fucking do it. I mean, I, I feel that, Ellie. Look, if you want to scare me, then just do it. God, yuck. Oh boy. That's him. And I can't do anything about the. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Come to life. Nothing. Where is it? Oh, key. Okay. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let the camera place my love for Dr. Pepper and Press G Fuel, it. even if I have to sit through 67 ads. <laughs> well, that's sad. Think about me while I'm off. I'll be missing you, but not too much. Love, Lara. Oh, he's gone. Lars probably long gone too. I was look for other shit around here, right? Isn't she like immune to the virus? If I remember the story right. Yes, that's why she's walking in the spores right now without issue. Otherwise, she would start turning. Shit. 
Hold left control to move slowly and quietly. I don't know where I'm supposed to. Empty. Fuck. That sucks. Don't kick it, you dummy. Oh. A military helicopter. That's gotta have something. 